So what I'm going to do today is show you how to properly open an avocado and process it down in preparation for making a guacamole or an avocado puree or maybe slicing it for putting it on a hamburger. Avocado is something that I wasn't really in love with until probably about four years ago when I first moved to California. So I'll tell you what, living in California, you can't avoid avocados. There's a, a love affair between Californians and their avocados. And I can't blame them. They're delicious. Some of the best ones in the world come from California. Getting the avocado just ripe enough, you know, making sure the flesh isn't too green, it's nice and soft, but when you open it, it's not bruised and brown. There's techniques to all this. So first off, it's checking and inspecting the avocado, making sure it's ripe that it's not too hard. If you get avocados that are too hard, you're going to take them, put them in a brown bag somewhere in your kitchen out on the counter for a day or two. And a day later, perfectly black, nice and soft, ripening process. Go figure. It's a little, neat little trick that I've learned over the last couple of years living in California. So we're going to rest it down very gently, take our knife to it, start by cutting it in the center. I like to hold it on both ends so to make sure that I have control and I'll slowly roll it to cut it because there's a giant core in the center of the avocado. Voila. So we've successfully opened our avocado and looking at it, we've picked a great one. It's a very beautiful looking avocado. There's a little bit of bruising there, but that's okay. <clears throat> Next step is to remove the core. I'll usually use a knife. If you're a little uh, timid, you can use a spoon and dip in, but the best way to remove an avocado is to use the knife. Very gentle, you can see. We've stabbed it, and then you immediately twist. You've now successfully removed the pit of the avocado without losing any of the product. The next step, you can go straight in with a spoon, and you can scoop it out whole. Voila. And at this point you can go ahead and slice it. If you want to use it in a salad or maybe put it on your hamburger. The other alternative if you're making something like a puree or a guacamole and you want to have it nice and chunky is to very delicately, very carefully score it. Very careful because if you're too harsh you can go straight through the skin in your hands. If you're not comfortable doing it in your hand it's always safer. Place it on the board. Watch your fingers. Okay, so we've successfully scored our avocado. Then we're going to bring our platter over here. You can do the same technique with a spoon. The spoon works best. Scoops in perfectly. And you have now successfully gotten your avocado down into chunks that you can now process down into avocado puree, guacamole, um, or some sort of compote. And that, folks, is how you break down an avocado.